Hello everybody! My name is Sviatoslav and in this video I would like to talk about benefits of sunlight for our eyes and about ultraviolet, is it harmful for our eyes or not. Light and sun are friends of our eyes. It is known from the ancient times that human beings represent materialized sunlight or manifested trail of light, since our whole life depends on the sun. This is what said Mantak Chia and Robert Lewanski, and I totally agree with the statement that we would all get hard time without the healing effect on the sun colors on the retina of our eyes. Besides the fact the sun is a natural source of vitamin D for the health of our skin and eyes. Sunlight literally supply all our organs and system with the colors that are in its spectrum. On the beneficial effects of sunlight on the eyes, on the clothes, the interaction of the heavenly body and the organs of vision, it's written by more than enough. So even in the Bible it was said the sun is both food and drink for the eyes, as well as the light is sweet and it's pleasant for the eyes to see the sun. Even the medical encyclopedia defines the eyes as the organ of vision, perceiving a light stimuli. To make sure of the decisive role of light for the eyes. It is perceiving is enough to place people with different eyesight into absolute darkness. Agree that regardless of the degree of visual pathology, all participants in the experiment will be equally blind. The sun is both food and drink for the eyes. On the healing properties of light and the practice of using solar therapy, the ancient Greeks also left their records. And their city is Heliopolis, city of sun, was famous throughout the world for its healing temples, in which light was used to treat people. There is evidence on the therapeutic use of spectral components of light, the colors of the rainbow and in ancient Egypt. Among modern scientists who have studied the effect of light on a living organism was the American D. Stipler. He proceeded from the fact that since all life on Earth exists thanks to sunlight, then light is more than a source of heat and food. Becoming a follower of Stipler, American psychologist, doctor of the clinic in Colorado State, Jakob Lieberman began to use light in his medical practice for 30 years of work. He managed to cure cancer, eye and cardiovascular and other diseases of more than 15,000 people. Eyes are the windows of our body. We used to think that the eyes have only one function – vision. Most of people don't know about the other amazing purpose – to be windows through which lights enter our body. Dr. Lieberman claims that passing along the optic nerve the light beam is bifurcated. One impulse goes to a section of the brain where the visual image is directly created. Another falls into the hypothalamus is the most important part of the brain, associated primarily with nervous and endocrine system. It is thanks to the hypothalamus that it beats heart, 
blood pressure is maintained at a certain level and body temperature. He gives us the opportunity to experience joy, fear, hunger, etc. Inside the hypothalamus is a biconcave lens, the pineal gland. Passing through this lens, the light is decomposed into the colors of the solar spectrum and it's distributed throughout the internal organs and system of the body. It is believed that is precisely the lack of certain colors of the spectrum within organism leads to the development of certain diseases. Since the lack of light causes disease, it means that with the help of saturation they can be cured by light. So professor decided and developed the technology which return people to the ranks when all the doctors put an end to them. Eye diseases are especially successfully treated with light and there are many scientific evidence. At the beginning of the 20th century a German doctor from Bone G. Mayer Schwickerath reported at the International Congress of Ophthalmologists in New York that patients with serious eye condition succeed and achieve recovery by simply looking at sun during sunset. Is ultraviolet dangerous for the eyes? Why are we facing a viral trend today with the sunglasses? Why are people looking forward to fine sunny days, heat and summer after waiting for them? They immediately fasten on the nose dark glass. This trend appeared not so long ago. Literally several decades back, remember the famous movies, it was enough for an actor to put on the nose black glasses and pick up a cane as others were already beginning to accept it for the blind and rush to his aid. What is the reason for this change people attitude to the sun? Why people suddenly began to hide from it? I hear a variety of versions, harmful ultraviolet, the need hide a bad consequence, protect yourself from wrinkles, get rid of discomfort caused by bright light, photophobia and fashion of course. In this case the version about harmfulness sounds especially unconvincing ultraviolet radiation. Also it seems to many to be the most valid reason for the fascination with dark glasses. According to this statement, the body which for millions of years has successfully adapted to any solar influence suddenly became unable to resist it without a doubtful charm of sunglasses. Our dim-witted ancestor got along fine without them, just knowing that in the eyes all of living things that is wonderful mechanism. The pupil which in the bright sun tapes with the help of the iris muscle and perfectly protects us from excess sunlight. The iris is also involved in the adaptation of the visual system to light so that the focus on the rays falls clearly on the retina. Thus the iris regulates the amount of light coming to the retina and prevents blindness of the eyes by narrowing or dilating our pupils. We can conclude that the sun and the sun rays are very useful for our eyes, the restoration of good vision and for our entire body. 
as a whole, sunlight is simply necessary. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Please subscribe to my channel and hopefully we'll see you again.